Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as you may or may not know, I did a video where we put a 99 overall player in the AHL for their entire career, saw how many points they would get. And yeah, that video turned out pretty interesting. So I saw another comment about how many points a player could get in the ECHL. So we're gonna try that out today. Uh, I'll just leave him as Joe NHL for now, I suppose. And let's, you know what? I normally make them a sniper. Let's make this guy a playmaker. Yeah, let's, mm, should I go, like, two-way forward or something? Like, it, I, it, it does matter, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, let, let's make him a playmaker for now. And number 26, I guess, the channel that TSN, it probably still is on, but I just don't have cable anymore, so I'm not really sure. And I guess just give him a one-year contract. Not sure if it makes a difference. Anything else we need to worry about? Okay, we will make him right-handed because, you know... It's just obviously the correct way to shoot the puck. And we will make him 210 pounds. All right. Uh, 2,000 would make him 22. Quick maths. Depending on when he's born, I suppose. 21 or 22, which is fine. And, well, I guess, yeah, he would be 22 if his birthday is January 8th. But anyway, uh, cool. That is done. My parents don't really care about equipment. Doesn't matter. But for attributes, now this is where the, well, you could argue that the X factors are the important part, but really the attributes are what's going to make this guy a stud muffin. Hopefully anyway, who knows, maybe uh, they won't even get that many points, perhaps. You can't rule it out. Actually, I know that someone also commented on the AHL one that I didn't have the best X factors and abilities combination set up for the maximum amount of points, and my... Knowledge of this game does not go that deep. I have no idea. I just sort of look at them, and it's it's almost random, really. I just kind of be like, this one seems neat. Let's go ahead and add that, and that's what I do, you know? I just sort of slap them on and hope for the best, but I'm assuming that there is some sort of method to the madness with the X factors and abilities, and there probably is a way to maximize a player, but... I am not really going to be doing that today either because I still don't know. I'm just going to be tossing X-Factors and abilities at random on Joey NHL. So, yeah, here we go. Let's make this player 99 overall. I mean, yeah, they're 97. I'm assuming that you can actually get them to 99 with some stats still at the minimum, but maybe not. I guess not. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you can. Not minimum, but, you know, we could do it still with a few stats not maxed, okay? So I put 8 out of 15 for shot pass bias, high franchise, 99 for every attribute, and now it is ability time. So what X factor shall we give him? He's got to have, like, a hitting one, right? Just kidding. No, of course not. He's got to be able to score. Actually, this one seems like it'd be pretty good. The Unstoppable Force one. Exceptional strength with the puck and greatly increased ability to hold on to the puck when off balance. That seems like it could be extremely beneficial. Advanced strength with the puck and an increased ability to hold on to the puck when off balance. Did it even change? It's like they just reworded it. Anyway. Um, hmm. Exceptional speed agility when accelerating with the puck. Okay, the wheels one's real good. So I'm going to do wheels. As the main one, so that this guy can just rip around the ice like nobody's business. I will give this one as well, the Unstoppable Force. And, no, he doesn't care about defense. This guy doesn't care about defense. Let's get real. He wants to score goals. Uh, sure, you can do the, the toe drag thing. You can have a Schnipe as well. Quick draw. And quickness on face-off draws and increased effectiveness on tie-up wins. Okay, yeah, he's a centerman. That could, that could help him get some goals, you know? And what about this one? This is one-timers. This one is clap bombs while skating. Hmm. What can we do here? Make them really fast going backwards? No, that has to do with back checking. Not happening. Uh, advanced at performing trick deeks. Okay, well, yeah, we'll just give him that one. That one seems solid. Okay, there you go. This guy is an absolute tank. A unit, if you will. You know what? I kind of have to do it. He's incomplete without it. The helmet, we got to toss on this bucket oh yeah that is unbelievable you wouldn't even be able to chirp this guy if he's dusting you because it's like what are you gonna say you know 
Let's be like, yo, do you want me to score again? Didn't think so. How about you zip it? He's also getting the Titan retro stick because obviously. All right. So let us assign Joe NHL. I think I have a team picked out already. And I have another creative player here, actually, because I'm doing that AHL goalie thing, which I don't know if that'll come out before or after this. But it doesn't really matter anyway. So Joe NHL, let's assign him to the ECHL. I kind of want to go for wheeling. I mean, I do really like... Where are they? Yeah, there they are. The Swamp Rabbits logo and everything. It's so cool. And Newfoundland would be cool as well. But... No, I think we're going to go with Wheeling. All right, there you go. He's now a part of the Wheeling Nailers. So let's go get this thing set up and see just how dominant this player will be in the ECHL. So our league type is going to be ECHL, believe it or not. Roster control will be standard. Fantasy draft off. CPU trades will be on. And I'll just do that because why not? Although I don't plan on making any trades, believe it or not. All right, let's... Start up the season here right after I choose Wheeling. There you go. There's actually a lot of teams in the ECHL. That is great. I'm happy to see that. Uh, quick settings. Let me go ahead and turn injuries off, wherever that is. Hello? Oh, wait. It's probably under... Is there rules? Yeah, there it is. You can't get injured. It's a rule. Um, injuries off. Boom. Cool. I'll just leave everything else as... Kind of default, I suppose. It doesn't really matter when you simulate anyway. The only thing that really does matter is the injury. So, let us edit these lines and see. Yeah, Joe NHL, there he is. Mad lad. Edit lines and let us do best lines. Don't edit my lines for me. No, not acceptable. So, Joe NHL is going to be a centerman here. He's playing with Patrick Watling and Justin Almeida. Almeida, something like that, I'm guessing. And, yeah, here's the team. Wheeling Nailers, baby. Nice. Okay, cool. And in net, Alex DeOrio. Um, Orio, one of the two. Probably the second one. But anyway, let's do this thing. All right, take your predictions now. How many points do you think he's going to get? I'm going to be honest. I think he's only going to get, like, 95 all right i know that sounds ridiculous i only get 95 oh wait a minute how many games are in an echl season hold on hold the phone i actually don't know so that sort of changes things i okay it's definitely i don't think that was 82 i'm gonna have to google this quick according to the interweb 72 games so i am gonna hmm i'm gonna say 85 now yeah i'm just gonna subtract what i have by 10 but, yeah, let's do it here. Their schedule's kind of weird, eh? I guess it makes sense. You know, they kind of want to play a bunch of games in a row as to avoid travel and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's simulate the season and see just how dominant Joe NHL really is. We're off to a hot start here. Finally took an L to the fuel. Kind of cool seeing these different teams. I like doing these sort of things. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think that our boy is carrying a little bit harder than I thought he would. And I'm really starting to regret that 85 point prediction. But who knows? Maybe I still will be right here. We are going on a bit of a losing streak, it seems like. Well, not really, but did lose quite a few games in a short period of time. So let's simulate to the playoffs. Okay, we got the fuel. The first team that beat us, I believe, actually in the regular season. So, Joe NHL, how many points did you get? Hello? This is unacceptable. That is simply unacceptable. There's no way. You're telling me I can't go back and see that now? No, I don't believe it. I literally just do not believe it. All right, it took me some time, but I was able to find it. 102 points is enough for whatever their president's trophy equivalent is. If they have one, I'm assuming they do of sorts, but... Yeah, a total of 3.06 goals for per game, uh, 2.25 goals against per game, which is, you know, not the best. Okay, there they are. Fifth is that in the league? I think so. Yeah, goals for per game. They had the most, I believe. Yeah. Oh, they're actually right up there with the uh, Florida Everblades. And the Swamp Rabbits are pretty decent as well. All right, look at you guys go. So 72 games was, in fact, correct. 98 points from Joe NHL. I would have been closer if I just stuck to my original prediction of 95 but anyway 98 points a plus 38 55 goals and yeah not able to break 100 you hate to see it how'd the goalies do 
908 and 905. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, it's all right. And I'm assuming, I think it's a safe assumption that uh, Joe NHL did in fact get the most. Who's this guy? Ooh. Oh. I guess like elite goalie in terms of the ECHL. It has to be. It has to be relative. Okay. Yeah. 100%. All right, attaboy, Colton. Let's go to the skaters. Let's see. Yeah, so 98. And then Justin was number two with 75. Okay, cool. Spot check is up there. kind of remember this guy, I feel like. Never mind, it's not the spot check I'm thinking of. <laughs> I guess the, the ECHL isn't really as much of a retirement league as some others, I believe. There are actually, you know, a lot of young players playing here and for my next trick i will get swept in the first round <laughs> let's see oh okay no not gonna happen sorry the indie fuel have been deleted and the wings are right behind them next up we got the the mavericks okay cool logo nice we're in the finals and that will be a w echl champions Wheeling Nailers. How many points do you think you got in the playoffs? 34 points in 22 games. Let's go. Wow. And then, yeah, Josh killed it as well. A right defenseman got 24 points? Jeez. Okay. Go off. And then uh, Justin over here, 23. Okay. Decent. That's probably, it's got to be the most in the league, right? 34? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They just dominated right there. Bobby Butler was the closest. And he had 18. <laughs> Atta boy. All right, so yeah, there you go. That's how a 99 overall player would play in the ECHL. Um, I guess there isn't awards, so I can't really show you that. But uh, I can, in fact, show you the playoff tree uh, just in the bottom there in case I'm cutting it off, which I likely am. The Newfoundland Growlers lost to uh, whatever that Quebec team is. I'm not really sure. I don't even know if it's Quebec per se, but, you know, the province of Quebec. <laughs> and... Yeah, it was, uh, took it to seven games, but they just couldn't get it done. So there you go. Hopefully you found that interesting. I sure did. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.